Hey guys, welcome back. Some of you ask how to do the school mirror effect. Take the gun now. And this is exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. We're doing this in Final Cut Pro. Also, this is vertical. This is for like a short video. Normally you would put it horizontal. Before I jump to this tutorial, there is two things you need to know first. Make sure to record your video on tripod. The camera cannot move at all because otherwise that's not gonna work. Second thing is record first action first, like you're going and doing your no normal routine and then repeat the same action ex except for this time, do the other part of the action different and make sure at some point you're in the same position exactly, you're standing the same way, you're doing the same thing at least for one or two seconds, because that's gonna be important when you edit these two clips together. So basically you record yourself doing the first action, right? So in this case, you know, Chris is wiping his face and etc. Typical routine in the morning, let's say, right? So you have this, this moment, and then we have him walking away. The moment he's circling his ears and he starts to walk away, this is the moment that we're gonna cut this video, remove the other part, and this is where he makes this different action with the nerve gun. So we find the moment when he's still cleaning the ears and we're gonna put this video on top of the other one for the purpose of matching as close as possible his position in the camera, AKA in the mirror. So the position over here, as you could see, is pretty much matching. He's cleaning his ears. Now in the bottom layer, he basically finishes the ears and walks away, right? Like this, but in the top, when I put this layer, he basically finishes cleaning the ears and, and takes the gun and points it to the mirror. So here is what we're gonna do with this. First, make sure that the clip matches, that he's cleaning his ears consistently right here. And then right here, there is a little switch because like I mentioned, you have to do it more perfectly. I'm gonna reduce the opacity of the top clip because I wanna see what's going on when he's walking away. Now we're gonna add mask. So basically go to mask and add, I, I like this mask, the draw mask. And I would recommend you basically do it on the border of the mirror, except for his can, hand is sticking out. So you can do something like this. To point the, to separate this, the image in the mirror from the rest. So now when you play it, you have this image. And while, while the other one is walking away, the other one is pointing a gun, you see like this. I'm just gonna mute the audio just so you could see. So then again, we have the regular clip Chris cleaning his ears and then the image in the, in the mirror from this point obviously is gonna react different way. Then you can put some muzzle flash effect, for example, right here. You're gonna put it in the blend mode of screen over here on the right side. Always put it screen. And now you have this muzzle flash. Obviously you have to position it the way that it's gonna come from the gun, from the nerve gun. So like right here. So the moment he shoots this gun, now we're gonna freeze frame the frame on the bottom, this one. We're gonna go to edit, click add freeze frame, and there we go. So we have this clip way longer. We can extend it to as long as we want. And the moment that the muzzle flash is there, basically the shot, we could be even more creative now and we could add some other layer. That's for like the ghost effect in the mirror. Let's say this one, because that, I think that was what he actually put originally. We're just gonna choose some good moment in this. So obviously we're gonna key it, take out the green screen. Now there is masking here. So we're gonna put this layer between this one. And the moment he shoots, there's gonna be another image in this mirror. Now we're gonna invert the mask. You see now we have this character and the original clip from the bottom, but it's a freeze frame. So we resize the, this ghost. Basically we wanna cover the crease that is, that is turned the other way like right here. You can also cut this clip and readjust the mask. You can put some glow. Obviously it's a little bit too much, so we're gonna reduce it. 
but the, the but we want some glow and this is pretty much how it looks then of course at the end you're gonna add some sound effects and all but this is generally how you do it he's washing himself you know wiping his face and etc then uh cleaning his ears right and then the image is separated he shoots the mirror boom and there is the ghost if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button thank you for watching and i see you in the next video remember stay motivated make another video today take care guys